All right, y'all. Good morning, afternoon, or evening, whenever you're tuning in. I'm grateful to have you here. And we got another loony leftist going wild about being misgendered. I'm sure this is going to be a doozy. Stay till the end if you want to hear my input and perspective. Let's get it popping. Now it's time for one of my favorite segments, Lefties Losing It. And joining me this week is Director of Communications at the Institute of Public Affairs, Evan Mulholland. Evan, Evan let's, let's start with several lefties losing it in unison because uh -oh. a lefty protester at a lefty protest uh, who was masked and he had a deep, well, they, she had a deep voice and a masculine physique, but they were accidentally misgendered by a journalist and all hell broke lo loose. You are harassing me. Are you not nothing? I'm a woman being followed by a man who's not a turtle. You are fired. I thought you were a dude. And with the Donald Trump, you're fired. It says it right on my seat. I didn't know that. Sorry, sir. Ma'am, I mean. Ma'am. Get the f out of here! Get the f out of here! Ma'am, I'm sorry. No, no, no. Back it up. Back it up. No, no, no. No, no. no get away from her. Get away from her. She said it more than once. He just misgendered this woman, sir. No, I gotta see that again. No, they ain't misgendered. That's a man. They said it correct. That that's a man. You are harassing me. This is are you not Don't get it twisted. I'm a woman being followed by a man who's not a turtle. You are fired. I thought you were a dude. Oh my bad. Oh. <laughs> I didn't know that. Wait, did y'all did y'all just you peep the part where they went for the wrong arm at first to, to show the patch, the, the she, her, him, hit whatever patch you want to rock with the, the weird, crazy-eyed cat. They were, they were saying, hold on, something here. No, they, they're confused about what sleeve they're even rocking. <laughs> hold on. One more time. Bring it back. Hold you on. You were fired. I thought you were a dude. Oh, my bad. Oh, no, it's this one. <laughs> I didn't know that. Sorry, sir. Ma'am, I mean. Ma'am. Get, Get the out of here! Get the out of here! Ma'am, I'm sorry. No, no, back it up, back it up. No, 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 no. No, get away from her. Get away from her. She said it more than once. Oh, Lord. He just misgendered this woman, sir. They even reported it to the police that there was a misgendering, even though there was a patch. I mean, surely, Evan, if you're going to cover your face, then the risk of misgendering does increase significantly. Exactly. Uh, the only thing that surprised me is that the police, uh, which are turning ever more woke, uh, didn't uh, go and arrest <laughs> the man for misgendering. She clearly had the patch there with she, her. She should have, uh, uh, um, the, the journalist should have recognised. That's it. Now, from now on, before you speak to anybody, masked or otherwise, check for patches. And please wear a patch, yeah. Wear a patch. I can tell you right now, for darn sure, I'm not checking patches. I'm not checking IDs. I'm not doing none of that. It just... I'm not gonna apologize for someone else's insanity. I was raised to tell it like it is, regardless of, of how delicate someone else's feelings may be, especially when it comes to someone expecting me to accept them for what they think they are when they can even accept themselves for who God created them to be in the first place. Respect isn't given, it's earned, honey, or, or son, or whatever, whatever it may be. So I'm gonna respectfully show you the truth instead of buying into your lies. I honestly don't know how these Looney Tunes take themselves serious. It's hilarious to me, and it's almost like watching an old school Kings of comedy special when you got Bernie Mac and Steve Harvey up there with D.L. Hewley it's ridiculous and I'm not gonna buy into these false ideologies I just want y'all to imagine for a second your life being so empty and this is sad but to the point of you spending the entire day every waking moment Sunday through Sunday pretending to be somebody else and insisting that everybody else goes along with it great Jehoshaphat you <laughs> I'm flabbergasted when your parents told you when you were a youngster I know my dad my, my mom I grew up in a single mother house her whole God bless her soul she's in the hospital so pray for it right now she had a ruptured brain aneurysm but that's besides the point she told me I could be whatever I want to be when I grow up and I know that's like a, a standard across the board what parents are supposed to tell you but I can guarantee this is not what she intended the outcome to look like and I know I'm a man I was born a man Man, thank God that I am the way I am. All this, whatever, melanin, lack of melanin, whatever you want to label it as, I'm, I'm grateful to be on this earth. And there's only two genders. There's male, there's female. You can't change it. You can't call an audible on God's playbook. It is what it is. You you could cry about it, whine about it all you want. But at some point, you're going to have to look in the mirror, take accountability for what you are, and be the best person you can be. You could put as many stickers and labels and wigs and, and dolled up cute outfits and makeup and fingernail polish like my man was rocking. You could do all that you want. That doesn't make you any more a woman than 
then putting a, a label that says shoes on a carton of milk makes milk shoes. It, it don't work like that. Like I could put a sticker on that says God. That don't make me God Almighty. You could put uh you could put whatever you could put uh Ford on this. This don't make this a big old F two fifty ultra capacity. I, I don't even know what they're called, but you you can label whatever it is that you want. But at the end of the day, you gonna have to pay the piper. You gonna have to face that judgment. You are what you are, and you can't change it. No matter how many things you try to chop off or replace this with that, you are what you are, and that is a blessing. Stop taking that for granted. And to wrap it all up, this is what happens when you don't think biblically, you don't know Jesus, and ultimately you think you're the God of your own destiny. You think truth is relative and you, it's something you could just change based on, on the given day, just how you feel that day. And it don't work that way. And if these people don't wake up and become born again and die to the flesh and start walking in faith and have faith over everything, it's going to be an eternally toasty price to pay. And I'm going to pray for them. At the end of the day, we're called to pray for these people. We're, we're, we're told to point it out. When we see sin and, and blatant evil going on, we're called to season our speech with salt. But at some point, you got to call it how it is. You got to say, that's wrong. Dude shouldn't be going in women's bathrooms and vice versa. Dude shouldn't be allowed to take over women's sports, get, get awarded for it, dunking on them. And, and all this crazy gender fluidity bull crap that it is, it's wild out here. But I, again, I'm going to take it to scripture because that's what, what reels me in. And this is what I base my life on. This is what everybody's foundation should be based on. This is, is never going to change. All this stuff, gender fluidity and, and things that are going to fall by the wayside, that change by the day, by the second, by the hour, all of that, this ain't never going to change. This is the truth forever. And so I got to take over to Proverbs 3 verses 5 and 6. It says, trust in the Lord with all your heart and do not lean on your own understanding and all your ways acknowledge him and he will make straight your paths. So no matter how you feel on any given day, if you lean on the Lord and you stop trying to figure it out yourself, he's going to straighten things out for you. He's going to walk walk you exactly where you need to be and you're exactly where you're supposed to be right now based on your choices, based on your, your faith or lack thereof. And God's going to work it all together for the, the greater good for those that look to him. This is his kingdom. You could try to call and change up all the things you want. He gave you free will. That's a blessing. But if you choose that unrighteous, that satanic, demonic route, that's exactly what you're going to get. You're going to get dark, deep depression and death. And then I got to hit y'all with one more because why not? Proverbs 16, verse three, commit your work to the Lord and your plans will be established. So if you keep directing people towards the truth and if you keep loving them, praying for them and, and telling them to walk with the Lord, hey, your, your plans are going to be established. You can have you might not have all the wealth and all the fame and all that stuff, but that's worldly. You're going to have eternal salvation with Jesus Christ, the, the one who took on the cross, you know, to beat all sin. All, you know, that guy, uh, Emmanuel, the, the Messiah, the one true king on the throne, you'll have eternal peace and salvation. No matter what you attain on this earth, we all going to die someday. But I want eternal peace. I want eternal victory. I want eternal life because I don't want to just die and th that be it. I don't. I want to have a purpose and that is to strive to get to heaven, to keep looking at Jesus every single day. I, we're all imperfect, but Jesus is perfection. So you can continue to walk that way. Set the sin aside, look to Jesus, and it's going to be all good. But if you enjoyed today's video, don't forget to like, subscribe, hit that notification bell so you can stay up to date anytime I post a video. If you want to support the channel, Channel. You could buy this Faith Over Everything shirt made by my awesome wife on her Etsy store. She's got a bunch of different Christian designs and all sorts of options. She could bleach it. She could got a, got a run of different sizes for the petite, for the big, big hoodies, tees, anything you need. She's got it over there. So go show some love over there. All my other links are linked down in the description section. By no means do you have to, but if you want to support the channel, you can buy me a coffee, join the Patreon family. You can swipe over to the next video, dislike, comment, whatever it may be. I love y'all. I'm praying for you. Until next time, Godspeed. I'm gone.